I always loved the outside and my older brother Bruce started climbing when he was in the Navy. He used to come back from the Navy and he'd show me this back and say, like, yeah, put your hand in that. And I thought, sweet's in it. I was like 10 or something. And it was a chalk bag. And I remember it being quite funny. And got really excited about the mountains and climbing and thought, this is beautiful. I want to be able to do all this stuff. I thought, well, actually, now I've got to learn to rock climb properly. So I did. One of the biggest adventures I had in my life was um, when I was 18, I went to Asia on my own travelling and I flew to Bangladesh and then I walked up to Nepal and I walked along basically a chunk of the Himalayas. I walked between them and I travelled through some really un, sort of untouristy areas and that was you know, really eye-opening for me. I was just hiking randomly through paddy fields and through foothills and through the mountains from like house to house of this village and sleeping in Sherpa's huts. I met up a couple of people who were travelling and we all sort of made a little merry band. There's three of us, me, a French guy and a German guy. We walked randomly through places where there were no footpaths, places where there were no tourists and stayed with people who we could share barely a word of language. I think maybe people like imagination a little bit Everyone's different, right? But society is very much a, like you grow up, you get educated, maybe you go to uni, you get a job, you get a house, you get a family, you get a car, and that's what you're doing. If you want to do something different, you can. And I'm not saying you should quit your job. You can have a, a normal job and have a really adventurous life if you choose to. I don't think it's about taking risk, but a lot of people who would want to do things like that, like maybe to go travelling, to see the world, it's not just about climbing, but people generally don't like getting rid of that security blanket. It takes more courage, I think, for a lot of people to quit the job and to add some insecurity to their life than it does to actually go on the trip. You still have people who want to do more and get out and do things, but so many people now appear to be quite lazy. Devon's an amazing place to live, it's an amazing place to grow up. It's a beautiful place to be out in the outdoors, but if people aren't encouraged to do that, they won't do it. It doesn't help, I don't think, like now, everywhere is the internet, uh, everyone lives glued to their mobile phone. I didn't have a computer when I was a kid, but that's because we didn't have anything else, but now you have all these other things that take time away from the outdoors. The UK has a really unique blend of like sea cliffs and mountains. We're really lucky. So in the UK, you can climb on a dozen different types of rock. You've got huge amounts of sea cliff climbing. Probably this is the, the world's number one sea cliff climbing destination. All the islands, the sea stacks. You know, adventure is here on our doorstep if you want it. 